beat a lot of hockey clubs as they've done. They had more points than Edmonton last year. They just need to find a way to do it in the playoffs. Bouchard unloads a save made by Alaba. Instead, Yanmark a one touch on to Adam Henry. Cuts to his right. Button hooks. Now fires. Redirected a save made by Alaba on Connor Brown. Point black. Shifley's had two good looks tonight, including a breakaway early with a turnover and McDavid on the Hyman. Drop for Nugent Hopkins. Whistled off the chest of Hellebuck, but turned over right to McDavid. And given second life, here's Nugent Hopkins. One-timer, Kulak, save. Hellebuck, juicy rebound, fire Nugent Hopkins into a crowd. Erased by Nurse, Anmar unable to clear. Held in by Barron, and the Jets determined. One-timer coming and a save made. Skinner on a good look for Rasmus Kapari. Here's Josh Morrissey. The Jets, a centering pass off the stick of Stewart Skinner. McDavid, Nugent Hopkins knocked off his feet, gave it away. Morrissey slugged one into the corner, retrieved by Appleton. Now Niederreiter threw it off the pads, and then Skinner sprawling right pad save on Lowry, who then banged home the rebound. And the Jets have the first goal of the hockey game. And all of a sudden, the puck is at the net, and it's a good chance that Skinner denies. Here's the same thing for Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Pretty uncharacteristic for him. He's falling down, can't quite clear the puck. It stays alive, and then the Jets work it to the net. From skate to stick by Lowry, the first one denied, but he stays with it and buries the second one. So this is what we've talked about with this matchup. Adam Lowry up against the top line. Is he will we'll take the lead for Morrissey. Scrambling down the left side, hits the trailer. Lowry a shot. That was pushed just wide towards side. Threw it back in front. Skinner had to make up on the save, and then a rim shot flipped wide by Niederreiter. A little bit of a question mark what he's going to want to do. He's always loved Winnipeg, has always stated that. Niederreiter, cross ice, Appleton, point blank scores. Beat Skinner glove side, it's 2-0. And Winnipeg's third line has accounted for both goals. Yeah, they've come to play, no question about it. And we saw, as we mentioned, the matchups start to change throughout this first period. We'll play up the ice in a hurry. Hellebuck just stops this puck. A little D to D. You're going to see this go right up the right side, all the way to the far blue line. And a nice play by Niederreiter to protect it. He just gets it across. I think everybody thought it was going to Lowry in the slot. They closed on him. But it was Appleton that receives this pass, has a little bit of time to pick his spot. And he buries it. Handed in by Kyle Connor, immediately set the other way by Nurse, and now Hyman breaks loose. Reach off the post, rebound, and not much on it from McDavid. That puck was bouncing a bit. Good chance at the end of this period here, and again, just the, the drive by Hyman. He gets this shot through the defender, rings the bar on Hellebuck, who has to sprawl across for a second opportunity. That gets deflected into the corner. There it is, there, beats the goalie. But look forward, it is something that uh, not only have hockey fans seen, but that would include his family who are in town for this uh, homestand. And uh, they said, Louis, that they watched the documentary, Jack. I think it was awesome. Arvidsson with a wrist shot that whistles wide. A big hop off the boards, then a collision. And Arvidsson went down at eight. Back wall that he capitalizes on early. This one comes flying off the back wall, and he just drives himself right through the blue paint. Good job. For Winnipeg has done all the damage. Niederreiter, Appleton, and Lowry. And now a juicy rebound. A poke check by Hellebuck, and then a sprawling, lunging, tremendous save by Hellebuck on Victor Arvidsson. In 2021. Well, taking a page from the Jets here, I know Luke and... Arm dog, we're talking about the rebounds and going back. Shot by Bouchard. Rebound issued by Hellebuck, but cleared by Morrissey ahead to Gabe Velarde. Of course, Skinner was having trouble finding it. DeMello off the boards. And a quick chance off the near side net from Barron. Kapari double team. Whisked it around the boards. Harry pass, and Kapari buries it. Beautiful feed from Morrissey, and it's 3-0 for the Jets. And Rasmus Kapari is on the board. Winnipeg's depth shining in Edmonton. And I know the panel talked about this. They are working the walls around the wall. Beautiful pass by Josh Morrissey, who comes down that wall and just on the fly, just zings it across. Kapari one times that on the right side. First goal in 70 games for Rasmus Kapari. Louis, you got to go back to January the 3rd, 2023. When he scored as a member of the Kings against Dallas. Here's a shot for nothing. Dylan Sandberg. Top 
shelf on Stuart Skinner. And Winnipeg erupting for two goals in 20 seconds to double their lead at Rogers Place. Once again, and it's just coming up the ice in unison. And it's Adam Lowry again pumping those legs through the middle of the ice, draws people back into the zone. And then a little drop pass and the seam pass across catches Sandberg coming up on that plane. He wasted little time. Singing this one off the crossbar and in. I mean, that is a perfectly put loss to call out. They beat him 7-0 in the final week of the season as part of that eight-game win streak. Power play, tweaked by Davis Payne. Working on it was a focus in the preseason, and Connor buries it to make it 5-0. What a release. I mean, he zings this one on net, gets over the right pad of Stuart Skinner, good movement. This was a real topic of discussion for the Winnipeg Jets, the power play. One of the most notable, getting that top power play time, which he deserves in my opinion, but this is just good movement around, and then you've got a shooter in Kyle Connor. I mean, he walks in, uses the screen to his advantage, and puts this inside the post far side to make it 5-0. I mean, that was a laser from a 40-goal score. Right there, you could see... You could if they want any chance to try and claw back into this one down by five, but that can also set the tone for the next few games. So I think that's what the coach is looking for here. One time, let's see brilliantly. It's the contender that the Jets are. Here's a look at yet another fine save. Yeah, off the face off. Nice pass here by Bouchard to find that seam through to dry saddle and where he shot the puck a million times. Roger Federer, one of Louie and I's favorites. Scooped in by Boucher. Remember this is an power play for the first 23 seconds of the period. Demello was Cole Perfetti, and thus far this opener eerily reminiscent of the one last year. Brown off a turnover and a quick chance up high right shoulder save made by Hellebuck. Edmonton not going away here in this third period. Continue to attack. This one pops right to Brown. Has a pretty good look with Hellebuck. Jets on a power play. And shown there. Going to be a threat in the conference again this year. Connor Brown, beautiful feed, and a one-timer flicked. Fails, but that was some sauce from Connor Brown. Was it ever? I mean, he puts it right onto the stick of Yanmark. That's a great save by Hellebuck. And this one, little one-hop, takes it on the hop and gets a really good shot away. As he... Another power play for the Jets here. Six minutes to go in the hockey game. Arvidsson, Henry, Kulak, and Emerson for Edmonton. Velarde into the zone. Ehlers centering pass deflected home. And Winnipeg extends to a 6-0 lead. Mark Shifley perfectly tucked underneath the ball. Up over top of Calvin Pickard. All transitional, though, from the defensive side. You're going to see the little drop pass to Connor. And this is just excellent puck movement with the speed of Ehlers down that wing. And he's locked and loaded ready to shoot this puck at any time, but he elects the shoot pass right onto the tape of Shifley. His third career bagel of the Oilers, and Winnipeg concludes a nearly perfect road game to begin their season and sends Edmonton to its dressing room, having absorbed a 6-0